The question is how to stay motivated, but really it should be, why are you not motivated? And the thing is about motivation, it has to be fed. And most of you feed your motivation on the wrong things that are temporal and has not a great weight. It has to be mixed with the emotion realm. It has to be mixed with the will realm. And it's got to be mixed with the desire realm. It has to be. And the only way that you can hit your will, your desire, and your emotions at the same time, is think about people who you love that's, that's, that, you, that means so much to you. You understand? Because when your coach tells you you're not good enough, or when your friends say, boy, are you trying to make it as a pro? You know, you might as well give up. You're 22 now, you're 23 now, or you're 19, you're even in the academy now. When they're saying all these stuff to you, you saying when I was little, I want to be a professional footballer, ain't going to get you out of that trench at that moment. But what is, is when you look at where you're living, your mum and your dad or where you are, if you're living in a council estate or a situation where it's moldy flats, you know, living condition is not good. You didn't have no Christmas presents last year birthday you could even get a card when you're suffering in poverty those things should be able to feed that hunger and that's the fuel you need to get up in the morning and grind and work so just like what ronaldo said yesterday he said listen the reason why this generation will not be able to have longevity because they don't have that hunger that he had in his generation because you understand ronaldo saw the poverty that he was growing up with and it's true in this generation there's too much distractions too many people want things to be given and they don't want to work from it and so if you want to feed your hunger, you want to feed this desire, that motivation, that stimulus to get up, you've got to look at who you're doing it for. Because at the end of the day, when you get dropped on a Saturday saying you can't play, or when it's rain outside and you don't want to get up in the morning at 3 a.m. and do your running or whatever it needs to do, you saying I was little and want to play football ain't going to cut it. You need to have a why. And that why has to be greater than your desire, your will, emotions. It has to be greater than you playing it when I was little. It has to be, I'll do it for my mom. I'm doing it for my dad. I'm doing it for my little sister. I'm doing it for my brother. And that is the key, my friend.